it's Simply Duck Designs here and today I'm back with a tutorial and this is going to be on how to make a continuous rose and basically it's just a rose without the you know rough edge and adhesive showing so it's all going to be rounded. Here's some examples of ones that I have made. Before I get started with the supplies, I would like to say please do not try this craft if you are a beginner. Um, it does waste a little bit of tape, so I also recommend using some tape that you don't really like or a tape that you don't have very much left of because if you don't get the motion down right, which you usually won't right away, it can be kind of wasteful. So you just want to make sure you use tape that you're not very fond of or something like that and don't get discouraged. Just keep trying and you will get better. Also, if this tutorial does not work for you, you can also check out LT Duck Designs tutorial. This is her Instagram account and she has the original tutorial for this. I did not follow her tutorial, but I did watch it after I had finished mine to see if it was alike and we make ours pretty much exactly the same, so I decided to give her a little bit of credit for having the first tutorial up of this. So if you need some help, just go to her Instagram account and her YouTube will be linked or you can go to her YouTube whatever you want but these are some of her continuous roses and just go subscribe to her and check out her tutorial if mine doesn't work for you. Okay so now I'm going to get started with the supplies. First you're going to need one to two colors of duct tape, a cutting mat, an exacto knife, a ruler, and a pen. So let's get started. First, measure the length of where your cap comes and you want to make sure that it's a little higher than where your cap would come so your cap doesn't get stuck in the duct tape. And then you're going to measure this white part here and you'd want to leave the blue part at the top. So after measuring the tape like that, I got a piece of tape that was four inches long. Now what you're going to do is wrap that around the pen. and then just smooth that out and you should have your pin covered and you should be able to put your cap back on. Now cut out a one inch square of duct tape. I just used a random scrap that I had left. Place that piece of tape upward and then take the top of your pin and put that down onto the stickiness and then just cut slits in the sticky part of your duct tape. Now the top of your pen should look like this and fold these down individually. That helps round off your pen so that way there's no rough edges showing and you won't be able to see the blue part of the pen underneath it. Lay your duct tape on your board. We're going to take a strip of duct tape that is 20 inches long. Here's a tip. If you have a 17 inch cutting mat like mine, take your tape the whole way across from the one inch mark all the way to the 17 inch. Then cut a small slit at the top of the 17 inch mark. Take the tape where your slit is and line it up with the one inch mark. Then go over two more inches and cut right here at the three inch mark to make it 20 inches long. Now flip your strip upside down so the adhesive is facing upward. Now take where you cut your little slip and fold that over first. I folded the first part over and I don't fold over a lot of the tape. I just make sure there's plenty of sticky showing that we'll be able to wrap it around our pin. Now start folding the rest. Now you should have a strip like this. I also forgot to tell you that you're going to need some scissors for this part. Ignore how disgusting mine are. My scissors have been through quite a lot, so ignore that. What you're going to do right now is take your square edge and round that off. Now your ends should look like this. Take your pin and duct tape and start wrapping the first layer around. Just like this. 
Now you're going to start pleating. And this is very similar to making ruffles on a ruffle coin pouch, but it does take a while to get the right motion down. But basically what I do is I take a small section and fold it inward. Then I slowly stick it to the pin and then press inward here. And then I just continue to do that motion throughout the pin. So once again, you just fold it inward and then press here. When you get to the end of your flower, just kind of tuck this part inward and then fold over that little piece of stickiness that is left. And you should have a flower like this now. Now you want to lift it to the bottom and you're going to try to stick down any access that didn't get stuck down just like this. And then you can also play with it a little bit, bend it, stretch it a little bit to try to make it look how you want it to look and you can always make these bigger or smaller depending on how much tape you use and how big you make the pleats. Now, take two strips of duct tape that are two inches long and you're going to fold them to make petals. If you don't know how to make petals, they're pretty simple. Peel up one of your squares, fold one edge to the center like this, smooth down, and then fold one edge over just like this. And it doesn't matter if it's even because you're not going to see the stickiness, obviously. So do that to your next petal. Now we're going to apply these petals to our duct tape rows. I like to take whatever section I think looks like it could potentially peel up a little bit. So I'm taking it right here and take your little petal and fold it around. just like that, and then apply your next petal. And now your petals have been applied. So now I've just taken a couple scrap pieces that I had of my little stem color, and I'm going to peel one of these up. And what we're going to do is this rough edge right here isn't very neat, so I'm just going to put that on there to clean it up a little bit. So you just wanna fold that over your rose and just keep folding that over your rose. Then take your other scrap piece and put that at the bottom of that piece. Just like that. So there you have it everyone. Your pin should be done. I really like how this one turned out. Like I said, you can make them smaller or bigger. Um, here's a bunch of examples that I have done. This was my very first one, which is bigger. There's some smaller ones. These ones are more realistic looking. So you can really do whatever you want with them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If we could get this video to 20 likes, it always helps me and I always really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check me out on Instagram. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys!